Question 14. A mass m is attached to a spring s and oscillates with a period t. What would be the period of the oscillation of the two springs s if they're connected in series or in parallel? And what would be the period of the oscillation in case a on a planet with surface gravity 2g? Well, first of all, we need to establish an equation for the time period. You may already know this, in which case you can skip ahead. Uh, but let's derive it from first principles, just in case you've got into the exam and you can only remember the equations for symbol harmonic motion. So we know that uh, the time period capital T is equal to 1 divided by the frequency. We know that the acceleration is equal to minus 2 pi f all squared multiplied by the displacement which we can write as minus 2 pi divided by t by substituting in our equation from here, squared multiplied by x. The force is acting on the spring. We have f equals kx. Uh, and we know that net force is equal to mass times acceleration on this occasion. We can put a minus sign here because the acceleration is acting in the opposite direction to the displacement. So let's rearrange that to get a. So a equals minus kx divided by m. Which we know to be minus 2 pi over t squared multiplied by x. Now we can cancel the x's from each side. Let's multiply both sides by minus 1 to lose the minus sign and take the square root of each side. So we're left with the square root of k divided by m is equal to 2 pi divided by t. And we can take the we can take the reciprocal of both sides to give us the square root of m divided by k equals t divided by 2 pi. So finally, t equals 2 pi root m divided by k. Since in all of our questions here, uh, m is a constant, we can write that t is proportional to 1 over square root of k. That will help us in a moment. So let's look at scenario B here. We have two springs in series, which means that the spring will be less stiff than it was previously. So k is halved. That's the spring constant is half its original value. t is proportional to 1 over root k. So if k is halved, what we've had to do here is divide this side of the equation by the square root of a half. So that means we must divide this side of the equation by the square root of a half. And uh, 1 over the square root of a half is also root 2. So root 2t. So the time period becomes longer by a factor of root 2. If we look at figure c, we can see that k is doubled. So we have 1 divided by the root of 2k, which means that this side has been divided by root 2. So this side must also be divided by root 2. So t is smaller. It's now t divided by root 2. And finally, when gravity equals 2g, what will happen to the time period. Well, let's have a look at our equation here. t is 2 pi 
multiplied by the square root of mass divided by the spring constant. Gravity isn't a factor. So there'll be no change in the period.